Hi, how are you? Am I being important? I don't know if I'm being important. Um, am I being official? I'm being, I have my official psychiatrist, psychologist, counselor, trauma counselor, youth counselor, etc. counselor. <laughs> Uh, hat on, so to speak. So, I think I was just watching an excellent video by Chris Reese. I've, I've put, put it on my playlist. The, the other one I've got on playlist, Terran Cat playlist, the other one I've got by her is um, That God Doesn't Want You to Be a Doormat. Excellent video. Um, and this one is Three Signs That. Yeah, the one I put on the playlist. Three signs that God does not want you to be with someone or something like that. So, excuse me. She talked about boundaries and... You might be wondering what boundaries are. So, boundaries... Are... For instance... If you're in the sort of civilization that I like, that have boundaries like walls, that people don't pass you with technology, interdimensional devices to rape you from, I like walls. <laughs> there are fences, there are doors. And all that stuff is supposedly to keep you safe. The only ones that are supposed to pass through those boundaries are ones you know won't hurt you or anyone else there if they're non-abusive or anyone else you care about with their own morals. That's right. And it's the same with personal boundaries. Or what uh, psychologists and therapists sometimes just call boundaries. So they are a list of your, what I sometimes call, um, personal care um, uh, things that nobody's supposed to go past. You're not even supposed to breach them yourself. In every uh, behaviour code um, list of crimes you're not supposed to commit and sins you're not supposed to commit, there is also a personal care list when it comes to people like me. And what I ask everyone to do when I give individual grants. Because everyone is, excuse me, an individual with their own individual soul, their own individual life paths. And God's made us like that. And um, that includes if you're part of a group soul. If you're part of a group soul and you do the oneness thing to such an extent, you're no longer an individual part of a supportive, nurturing, growing in righteous, right ways. You need to ask for help. And you can, if you want, if you trust me enough, think down into your heart to me, Terry, and ask you, ask me, sorry, because you're you and I'm me. Um, ask me for help if you want help with that. Okay, so there's that personal care. I mean, everyone has a personal care. Yes. And it's different every day. And that's just a fact. You might even go to the same place every day. But your personal care rules might be different every day because overnight you might have had a bad nightmare about 
something bad happening to someone you care about. It might have been a dream from God to warn you about something. So you got different personal care things for that day. You might have had a horrible day yesterday where you got attacked. Different personal care every day. So your boundaries are really important. And that's your personal care for yourself. It says, I am me and I do not want to be abused. And as I am an individual, please be aware if you do any of those things, if you cross my boundaries, you will abuse me. And no one should go past those boundaries. And some people will try to say, reach in a negative meaning when I say reach I don't mean like that some people will say experiment and but when I say experiment I don't mean like that and some will say special cuddles but I don't mean like anything So sometimes boundaries, we need them with language and understanding and communication as well. We need truthful, correct communication, information and interaction. I'll add into that respectful, kind, loving as well. If you're not getting that from someone, not even psychically, not even spiritually, not even verbally, not even physically with body language, or with actions, or with any of those, or any combination of those, or any of those, that person, that entity, is untrustworthy to you because on the approach to your boundaries they're not even respecting you or your boundaries don't let them near your boundaries don't let them near you if they can't do it right, even on the approach, from the way. If you pray to someone you can trust, hopefully that I can trust as well, because sometimes I give uh, advice people don't like. So if they don't like my advice, they might not like me and might not like you, if you like my advice. But if you do pray to someone you, you can trust, ask them for help. Uh, you can also ask me as well by thinking down to your heart to me, Terry. And you're most welcome to do that. There is a reason why God made you good. <laughs> it says in the Bible, God is not mocked. He doesn't want you to be bad. And I don't either. <laughs> No matter loving me, past loving you. See you later. Remember, don't eat meat.